Yeah, so uh, just I wanted to know a little bit about you, like, um, I know because uh, you uh, it kind of, uh, I saw your introduction that you're in the educational field, right? Yeah. So I just wanted to know because even I'm an educator. Where are you so now? I, uh, I'm in Mumbai. Oh, you are in Mumbai. Where? Uh, Vashi. Vashi, okay. Okay. I was there in Vashi in DAVU school. Okay, at DAVU school, okay. Long, long back. Okay. Maybe uh, 2013. Today is 11th, 13th, right? Uh, November. 2013, November, I was in Vashi. Uh, almost 10 years back yes 10 years back i wow. was there washi in different schools i am i am basically a space scientist mm -hmm. retired from department of space after 20 years last term i was with the prime minister's office manmohan singh okay. then i am into education yes i am into education based on requirements so but uh, do you uh, like what what kind of uh, subjects do you teach see i was a professor of management in an engineering college my phd is in fluid mechanics so i was a professor of mathematics i was teaching electronics mechanical civil electrical computer science uh, all those subjects but i have basic interest in uh, teaching teachers so i was director for academic staff college and then um, over a period of time i found uh, basic education i've got children who are preparing for civil service so i found most of them their basic education is too bad right then what i thought is i should uh, contribute something towards uh, early childhood education so recently during covid i started interacting with the teachers at the primary level pre primary level kg nursery uh, 10 years back not more than 10 years back i think 2005 2006 uh, during that time i started to one concept called the grandma child care shiksha gurugulam which is basically um, education in the ch early childhood should be without uh, any textbook without writing they must read um, they must uh, listen to stories they must understand life around them basically education up to seventh grade is for learning life and life around their life that means you must have good contact with the local people in harmony with the people around life love them understand the physical emotional intellectual social spiritual aspects so i started um, um, contributing towards this a few people who wanted to start the schools they started a little bit here and there and little supplement on their uh, style of teaching style of learning spiritual aspects social aspects little craft little act activity based education i was interacting with the helno grady which is also in bombay where edu trainment education with a lot of dramatics language learning skills through activity based programs in schools and teachers all together with the traditional knowledge added together i authored six books recently they are called uh, Grandma Child Care Shiksha Gurugulam Concepts Teachers Training Program. Is it? Grandma Child wow. Care Shiksha Gurugulam. So you can see the heading is A, B, C, D, E, F. So I've got four right. volumes. This is only one volume. Similarly, three more volumes which connects from A to Z of age 3 to grade 3. Okay. So these seven years of basic education create good teachers who will uh, make their life different 
so connected to different parts of the world during the covid uh, interacting with the philippines i am i am i was part of the lead philippines program interacting with the british people canadian american there is a canadian group of people who are giving a similar uh, child care education center so recently last week we had a seminar where you can be part of this grandma child care shiksha gurukulam register in canada and get a diploma of canadian diploma of one and a half years program later you can go to canada and practice there as a teacher on health care centers so trying to collaborate with the people who are across the globe implementing such things um, basically from kerala so i've got an old home 200 year old home so if you have seen wow. my you have seen my uh, signature you can see uh, nanam j n a a n a m nanam which was very active 2013 to 2018 from covid downwards it was closed so now next month i am opening it back so from bombay if you travel through the coastal to mangalore to kannur is the place in kerala which is 3 hours from mangalore we conduct some programs of 10 days 10 days workshops for different group of people maybe january onwards it will become more active 2024 january i am planning to start some life transformation programs where people can come and stay with me for few days understand my philosophy of life education spirituality uh, such things these are all what i do basically Uh, what i wanted to know what were you doing at isro i was a space scientist who was processing satellite image for making maps so what you see google map today i made similar maps 30 years back you made uh, you mean like google maps or google earth google earth similar type we have satellite images from india which is remote sensing satellites which can take pictures we can see the roads networks traffic everything that is how the google map works so similar thing which is called geographic information system so i am basically image processing man photogrammetry mapping from satellite is my expertise okay. and you said your uh, phd was in fluid dynamics yeah i did in fluid dynamics i am basically a mathematician turned into fluid mechanics man radiation heat transfer core physics core mathematics was my subject wow uh, uh, like uh, if i need help i i, I want to like uh, get little better at my map in my math skills i want to improve on it so is it possible that you can help me with that see basic mathematics literature and language is different in language similarly basic mathematics is different and ba- basic logic is different mathematics is also a language right, right. so um i if you look at um the other day i had a lecture but that's in malayalam who wanted to know the transformation functions which are all higher order mathematics which is used in engineering which is used in physics i explained that so easily in the colloquial way of understanding visualizing this is one sort of mathematics which is an abstract mathematics which are applied in different subjects the language of mathematics is what is logical reasoning analytical skill mathematical ability data analysis which i did like a one paper which i did in one of the private universities which was my last uh, job which is in a private university here as mathematics professor what i did was i introduced a paper called the campus to corporate in which how the beta can be a bba students get educated in solving problems very fast that was logical reasoning so logical reasoning is exactly mathematics but what i am speaking today must be able to convert it into equations and solve it fast right. this is one mathematics which is basically required for every day to day activity which i also teach in many of the programs the other day i was in a school so what i did was i asked them 
how many of you don't like maths so we can see 80 percentage of the students <laughs> raise hand saying we don't like maths so what i do is i show some some tricks in mathematics to make them maths interesting it's not that they don't like it is they're scared of it yeah that is that is what generally happens see for example if if i ask you some multiplication table you can do it but it takes more time it takes more time for you but little right. tricks can make it many much faster yeah so that trick is what generally i teach so if i teach i heard, uh, I heard something like a vedic math or something i've heard vedic math and all that stuff see the vedic know. math is really good but they are very 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 old system in which today we can we can do it much better much different much faster uh, assume that you want to multiply 2 with 3 vedic mathematics will tell you some methods of drawing understanding geometry but that is very very rudimentary mathematics which you don't require that it explains and it allows you to visualize that is the beauty of vedic mathematics which will allow you to see why why 2 into 3 is 6 why 2 into 3 is 6 so what is generally done is i can draw two lines here like this mm-hmm. and i can draw another three lines crossing it okay Got and it. count Got the it. number of nodes what do i get is 6 mm-hmm. so this is 3 this is 2 2 into 3 will be 2 into 3 actually i am crossing it that's why the cross multiplication cross so i get 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i have got six nodes so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 this is vedic mathematics maybe can i see that again yeah that i got this yeah okay yeah there's 1 2 3 nodes you mean like count the number of crossings how that's many places okay, it is crossing so you get yeah, six the, the intersection points so. yeah intersection points are nodes which is six so you get two into three is six right 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 so now you can do it with the double digit number also see suppose i want to write 23 i will write two lines here and another three lines here okay now i have to multiply with the 12 so i'll write one here another two lines here little apart so this is 1 this is 2 so this is 12 so this becomes 12 here this becomes 23 here right got it now what i can do is start counting the number of nodes here 1 2 then write accordingly add the crossings how many are there these crossings i can add together that will be the middle number and this 6 will be the last number how did you how did you get 12 yeah this is one line 1 into 2 so this is 1 12 12 is written like 1 and 2 like this 1 and 2 this becomes 12 for me right mm. if i draw two lines it becomes 2 if i draw one line little apart and another two line this becomes 1 12 2 2 so it becomes 1 and 2 it becomes 12 then i have to multiply with 23 i will draw do- diagonally two lines here and three lines little apart so i get these nodes added together the first digit to i'll get 2 and here if i add all the nodes I will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two seventy-six will be my number. So yeah, two eighty-six will be my number, right? So similarly, I can do little bit of uh, mathematics based on um, the method in which I am doing could be slightly different. Two seventy-six. Yeah, two seventy-six. That's what I'm saying. so it becomes 276 the nodes if you add you will get here 1 2 3 4 here 1 2 3 
you can count this is 1 2 3 and here you get 1 2 3 4 so 4 plus 3 is 7 and the last number is 6 here because 6 nodes are there and the, this number will become 2 the first number is 2 276 you will get I got it I got it so these are all different types of Vedic mathematics similarly the other day I was teaching multiples of 5 5 square 15 square 25 square 35 square these are all some methods which is called Ekadikena Purvena so if you write 5 square 25 15 square 225 35 square uh, 12, 25, 225, 55 square will be 2025. You can write it, then you will see the 25 is repeated. The first digit is repeated based on the number 25 square, 2 is taken. The next number 3 is taken, 2 into 3, 6 is returned. So 625 will become 25 square. So these are all small tricks which makes mathematics much faster and simple. Right. So it needs little patience to understand the trick. Then anywhere and everywhere you can use it very fast. So uh, basically a mathematics problem can have a, a formulate solution as well as a logical solution. Mathematics is fully logical. If I can visualize mathematics, it becomes so simple. So Vedic mathematics will help you to visualize it. That's what it does. The formula is two multiplied by three six, but then uh, you know there is there is a there is a like um uh, there, somebody once asked me yeah. that if there are three birds hmm. that are sitting on a tree yeah. and uh, like somebody shoot one bird, how many are left? See, they are all not actually mathematics. Then somebody will say when one bird is shoot, the rest of them will fly away, right? Yeah, right, right, right. That is uh, the formula is t minus one is two. Yeah, but uh, but that is why mathematics. I am saying it's logical. Okay, it's it's yeah, not it's okay. it's those questions are not mathematics questions. They are all tricky questions, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, they are testing your conscious intelligence. Yeah, all are going to fly away unless one bird is very bold enough not to. Away. No, that is what I am saying. They are all, th this can be answered in any way. Right, right. Because if a bird is bold enough, will just sit there. Yeah. Maybe it's, uh, suppose it's death. Yeah. No, that's what I am saying. These are not called mathematics problems. These are called uh, uh, simply logical and some sometimes stupidity. No, uh, but that can, uh, I asked one student that. Uh. And the student told me that first he told me only two, right? Yeah. But then I stood up think again. Yeah. And then he said none. Yeah. It depends. What if that bird is dead? What if that bird, you know, does No, that is what I mean. So, see, when you talk about such logical reasoning questions, they are not mathematics. That is based on situations, based on place. Now you can have a lot of questions, right? If the bird is not able to fly, the wings are cut, what you will do? If the bird is, bird is not, uh, you know, uh, the bird can be, many birds are there, right? If it is a, um, if it is a hanging bird, uh, where there doesn't fly sometime. Even if one is killed, it doesn't fly. Right. Yeah, so it all depends. Uh, those are those are if and but situations. So, this is not mathematics. When we talk about mathematics, for the sentences which we use, we can convert them into formulas are called mathematics. Equations are called mathematics. Inequalities are called mathematics. The other one is truly logical, tricky, funny, time pass questions. I got that, but uh, yeah, I thought like uh, I would when I am like I think I think that a mathematics problem can be analyzed from different situations. Like it doesn't have to have one solution. No, mathematics always give you straight solutions. That is why I said which can be converted into equations. Equations means there is a left side and there is a right side in between. There is an equal. There is no second answer for that. There is only one answer. 
they are called the mathematics the other things are called the logical reasoning analytical skill they are called the sense questions or common sense they are also practical problems sometimes but you cannot answer them straight like this with equations which can be made into equations they are mathematical logic there are mathematical logic vocabulary logic picture logic so many logics are there see for example in mathematics if you ask how do i make one line smaller than the another line make the another line bigger that becomes smaller that's relative right that is not mathematics when we say two lines means there is a line means there is a measurement then there is no question of one removing it see for example you can give nine dots and then ask them to connect through then you can fold the fold the paper and then connect it then take the paper out they are not mathematics actually mathematics means two lines can be connected through one line or one curve there is a convex figure concave figure they are all mathematics which i do or you do or anybody do it remains same if i do and you do it becomes different they are not called mathematics that is not called science Oh, I mean, there's only one straightforward solution you say. But what about like one point nine nine nine? I'll round it off and say two. But somebody might say one point nine nine nine. Yeah, that is that is why you can see some of my questions were what is the what is the value of pi? Ah, uh, yeah, that's correct. But yeah. What is the value of pi? Twenty two point seven. Yeah, that is wrong actually. Yeah, that is because you define pi as an irrational number, which cannot be written as p by q. The definition of pi is pi is an irrational number which cannot be written as p by q. So you are giving the answer of pi equal to twenty two by seven. That means you are writing pi as a rational value. Pi. It is not a rational number; it's an irrational number. So you are wrong. But for all pra practical applications, you write pi is equal to twenty-two by seven. Originally, actually, by definition, that's wrong. But approximate value is for computation purpose. We are approximating to twenty-two by seven. So what is the value of pi? If you are a real mathematician, if you ask me what is the value of pi. i will say pi pi is a number you cannot ask what is the value of 1 and if somebody ask you the value of 1 you cannot say it's 0.9 no i must tell it is 1 so similarly pi is a number why people make it equal to 22 by 7 3.14 decimal that is because you want to compute it you want to use it for computation So pi is an irrational number which cannot be approximated by any other value. Pi value is pi. Okay. This is pi little. Is pi only. Yeah, pi value is pi. So mathematics has only one value, but practically when people use it, you approximate it. Okay. That is that is the problem. That's actually a problem. Why? That is because you have to understand mathematics from a higher order, not from a lower order. See, for example, when you say dot, decimal, point, point has no dimension, but we say one dimension. Line is two dimension. Actually, there is no two dimension. Two points can be connected through a line. What is the thickness of a line? Number of points. So each point has got two dimension. So it becomes a two dimension. But when you put a dot, it can be three dimension. When I put a small Yeah, when I put a small string and say this is one dimensional line, actually this is not one dimension. There is a thickness also yeah, for this. Yeah, this is. So it's three dimension. No, this is only one one dimension. I just see line as a one dimension. No, actually that is not a line. Is a three dimension. How? Because I am showing you this is a line. So it has got one dimension here. It has got also thickness. Without the thickness, one dimension I cannot show you. You will not see no. them. So to see them, a three dimension I will have to show and then tell it is two dimension. To 
to show a dot actually dot has no dimension zero dimension but i cannot put it unless if i use a bigger pen it will become too big if i put a 0.3 decimal it will become 0.3 decimal so it's not one zero dimension 0.3 is the dimension 0.3 mm pen when you use it put a dot it becomes 0.3 mm but that 0.3 mm when you dot it has got two dimension right so dot is not one dimension it's two dimension so this is little higher mathematics but practically when you wanted to use it in pen and paper at lower level you will have to explain it in that way see for example in eighth grade all of us when we study set set is a collection of items in your room collection of students in a classroom collection of electronic things in your house collection of numbers all these are called a set that's how set theory is defined but when i do mathematics in msc level the first one week our learning is set cannot be defined what you defined in earlier class later we will learn it is actually not definable but at that level you have to have some assumption in which you start growing it that is because without assumption i cannot start learning some mathematics when i say the weight of this uh, telephone is 100 grams right it is not 100 grams did i weigh it really i just believe somebody said it is 100 grams but is it gold if it is gold when i when i weigh it i will not measure it 100 grams i will say 100.001 gram so i am not very precise i am approximating right yeah, everything in the world is approximate how much knowledge i am giving to aparna now is in the aparna's level of discussions when i talk to somebody else i will use a different uh, style of discussion see for example what is the thickness of this paper what is the thickness of this paper i say it is 30 gsm what is gsm if i take 100 uh, papers like this how much gram it is weigh divide that by that number of papers and i will say this is gram per how many numbers are there will i be able to measure the earlier calipers difficult so what do i do i put 100 papers together measure it with a scale divide by 100 how good is that measurement if i add one more paper will it change one less paper will it change it is not going to make large difference because my measurement itself is with a centimeter with a millimeter scale not with the micro millimeters right so we have everything in mathematics we have got an approximation that is because practically we are what is the time now if i ask you what is the time now 259 yeah now you are saying 259 but that is not good enough for a satellite for a camera which is clicking in one second how many clicks i can click 120 frames i can take i got camera in which my fastness of taking suppose if i am taking a video somebody is running fast and the click is coming what time the click happened i will say in terms of milliseconds microseconds so when i am asking what is the time now the time you heard you looked at the watch and told me the time i asked a time but you told me a time when you looked at it Right. there is a delay right. in between so what is the precision so everything in mathematics everything in physics we only talk about relative now i am running i am uh, running what the question i have uh. is somebody is some people have a logical brain whereas other people have a creative brain yeah. so what what about that I yeah they should they should realize about. they should realize my creativity is based on the level in which i am talking suppose i am talking about i am i am running with a speed what is my speed of running say 3 minutes per 1 km is the speed in which i am running okay now what happens 3 minutes i am running 1 km 
Am I really running one kilometer or more than that is my question. If I am on earth measuring with reference to earth, yes, I am only moving one kilometer in three minutes. But with respect to the space, the earth itself is moving. So with respect to the sun, how much is my movement? You have to add the movement of the earth also. So in which level I am thinking that is my creativity. Creativity is not uniform at every level. The more knowledge I have, the more observation I have, more connectivity I have, the more and more logic which I add, in which context to whom I am speaking makes my creativity higher and higher and higher and higher. When so I, I had, yeah. so uh, when you showed that uh, the thickness of that rope, right? What yeah. was it? Yeah, some cable. I, yeah. yeah, something. I can only see one the length only. Yeah, you can see the length only. But I am holding yeah. it means I am holding it means there is a two dimension, there is a three dimension. Otherwise I cannot even hold it. Oh, how could you? I can only see the length of this. Picture. Yeah, you can only see the length because we are seeing the picture now. Actually, when you see the picture, there is only one dimension. You will not even see them. See, my hair you cannot see because I am holding a hair now. You are not able to see that hair, right? I am holding it. Right, yeah. You, you are not seeing because it's actually there is a thickness. Your camera zoom is not good enough to see that in clarity. That doesn't mean it is not existing. It is there, but bunch of hairs I can see. Yeah, that is what I am saying. So what do you do generally? When I am holding this, I am not holding one, one dimension. Bunch means there is three dimension. Okay, yeah, the bunch of it. Okay. Understood. So that means there is a three dimension. Not in two dimension also. It has to be in three dimension. That's a beautiful concept. Uh, Aparna, you are discussing something which, which is highly logical. Now, you are also thinking in the line in which I am thinking. So, you are able to visualize it. You can understand it. This is what is logical reasoning. For which people need to be slightly more creative, think like this. But young children don't think like that, right? See, when I am showing a picture and saying, this is a dog, this is a dog, this is a dog. I know this is not a dog. It's a picture of a dog. <laughs> but I will not tell them this is a picture of a dog, right? I will tell them this is this is a dog, this is a dog, this is a dog. Why am I telling this? So tomorrow when they grow, when they see a real, go, a real dog, they will understand, oh, this is what I learned in my class. So education is to make them to realize when they have something physically in front of them. So what we are doing is a virtual teaching. But Every, you have to tell them this is a picture of one type of breed of dog. Yes. Not all. Yeah, not all. Not, of this is a one, one not all dogs look like that. Correct. So similarly, when I put my father's picture on the wall and then tell my children, this is my father, this is my father, this is my father. I know this is not my father. My father left 50 years back. But still yeah. I will say, this is my father, this is my father, this is my father. So that when they see the picture of my father, they can realize, oh, this is my father's father. <coughs> All the concept of God is also like that. We have picture of God. Who has seen the God? Nobody has seen the God. Yeah, nobody has seen it. Yeah, nobody has seen it. But there were scriptures in which there are a lot of descriptions. This is how God is. In poetry, it is explained. And sitting in Bombay, the place where you are from, a Kerala king called Ravi Verma started drawing the picture of ladies and he wrote it down, this is Saraswati. And people realized, oh, this is Saraswati. Nobody has seen God. How can you say that this is how Jesus looks like? Yeah, that is what I am saying. This is how the conceptualized pictures, right? See, I don't know whether you have seen the picture um, Mahabharata by Peter Brooks. You have to see that, Aparna. Peter Brooks Mahabharata. 
now when we talk about bhima bishma krishna we have some figures in our in front because we have seen lot of pictures of calendars which are drawn by uh, started from devi varma onwards many many artists but, but i forgotten now I if you look at like. if you look at peter brooks mahabharata that's a movie yeah. you will see the god with the which we know the pictures are not same it's entirely different gandhari is different um, parashurama is different krishna is different um, ganesha is different bhishma is different <coughs> each character looks entirely different in a different style because his concept of god is in a different uh, style different yeah and different correct yeah. we conceptualize god in our own way yeah that and is because say, peter i have seen god in my dream and like how because dream is connecting lot of pictures we have seen in our life how can you see i mean it's not possible to see krishna like in your dream. maybe they have been they have seen a lot of movies or something they used to know. yeah movies pictures lot of stories explanation stories given by many people a god doesn't have a form god doesn't have a form rupam rupa vivarjitasya bhavado dhyayena yat kalpitam stutya narvajani yada akhila guru duri gurdayan maya vyaptitvam cha maya gurda etc etc doshatrayam matkritam i have created god and given him a shape which who doesn't have shape these are all done by great uh, poets okay doshatrayan matkritam these are all my mistakes actually god doesn't have a shape he doesn't have a form at all yeah uh, one time uh, so one time i was asked my my my, uh, my husband once asked me <coughs> how do you know god is a he or a she I'm like I don't know. Why are they using me for God? He's like, how do you know God is a he or a she? Like the main God, I'm the supreme God. No, that is why we have we have generally we say that no, God and goddesses only concept of West. In God and goddess is not an Indian concept. Indian concept it is called the what is it called? Worship. Ishara. Idol. 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 No. Ha- idol has no. Uh, gender you will not see them with uh, no what gender they are actually they are called the sankalpas idols we are worshiping idols that's what i'm saying so it is a sankalpa it's an ishwara stone. it's a chaitanya yeah we are worshiping stone that's what i'm saying now now all the all the nature how do you say now for us fire is a god right yeah fire is right. a, a male or female how do we know it's like uh, no fire doesn't have a gender that right? is what i'm saying so god doesn't have, all the nature doesn't have air is air is god all the five right. budas earth is god why do, why do we call earth is god ma and then we say there is sita devi so, but, it is parvati devi yeah yeah right it can also be vishnu Uh, uh, the five elements are gods. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's different, conceptualized in different style. But for people normally, if you tell like this, they will not be able to uh, tell stories. They will not be able to. We need a a forest story in which you will see the lion is talking to uh, a deer. So similarly, we know that lion will not talk to deer, right? But in a story, we will add that. so itihasa puranas are stories so in stories people created this and that is what we are still continuing the mythology mythology like mythology is what is called itihasa purana and it's been edited several times yeah that's copied copied many multiple number of times uh, yeah i get that point so a uh, god exists in everything in like uh, yeah around us he's around i mean he not i mean uh, the divine is around us yeah the energy is around us i think like uh, like it's just matter right like it's it's it's, it's a consciousness it is a consciousness it's called hridaya guhara madhye kevalam brahma matram inside my hridaya inside my hridaya 
if you open it up inside there is a creativity that creativity is what is called the brahma that brahma is the sankalpa that brahma is the creativity who is the actual origin of god because everything starts with our thinking the thinking is what is the energy of god about an atom or a molecule being god see that atom and molecule is also a sankalpa actually atom is having you are talking about atom because you are a chemist but my son is a nuclear physics man he will not talk about atom he will go inside nucleus so inside nucleus when you go you have a nucleus and you have a neutron and you have a proton and electrons going around it so electrons is a matter nucleus is in the center it goes around that means there is lot of space so which is more space is more or matter is more you will say space is more so why do you say atom is god space is god and that space occupies some energy that is why the electron is going around so it is not the matter which matters the energy that makes the electron to go around the nucleus is what is consciousness with that consciousness the electron is going around it with that electron with this nucleus the together we call it as an atom so many such atoms together we call it as a cell so many such cell together is called a dr tps so many different cells together is called a aparna and the whole body has got a consciousness and that consciousness if you want to understand you read my book which is called a seedly Uh, you know now they are talking about vibrating at a first uh, particular frequency no i am asking you this is a book which i wrote this is available on my blog which is called seerling spiritual esoteric How? energy dowsing and healing how would i get hold of like is it free or to pay for it this is the blog available you can freely download it and then read it this is on my web website internet which will talk about all the energy the consciousness the body and the elements which makes this together the book is called seedling s c e d l i n g seedling dr tps which i wrote in uh, maybe 20 years back the thing that i heard uh, what i heard dr wayne dyer talking about in his video that um, you know you have to basically detach from everything out in this world and you have to then connect, then later and go back to your source okay you detach from things and go back to your source how how, how can you do that see uh, there are a lot of western lectures where people subscribe there are a lot of indian traditional including me i am now talking to you in english but the concept in which i am talking is an eastern indian philosophical concept <coughs> attachment and detachment which the word itself many times repeated in the bhagavad gita three times i taught this bhagavad gita in english version one in united nations yoga community two times in america one online and one physically most of the time i hear people like now just now aparna said attaching detaching and all that that is basically because the sanskrit word bandham bandham is translated as attachment and krishna says arjuna could fight with his opponents because he detached from them therefore an attached detachment detached attachment is what is essential you look at attachment detachment dr dps i am i have a small video on this this concept of bad english is what created confusion in people including aparna that's why you ask that question how is it possible actually attachment is good i have some attachment to aparna because you started communicating with me we had little bit of chat conversation that's why we are connecting it now but i don't have bandhanam with you bandhanam means if tomorrow onwards aparna don't talk to me oh i will not think why aparna is not talking to me that feeling i will not have that is not called attachment it is called boundedness 
I am getting bounded to Aparna. Without Aparna, I feel so upset. That is yeah. over attachment. So what we should right. not have is an over attachment should not be there. But I am right. happy if Aparna is talking to me. If Aparna doesn't talk to me, that doesn't make me sad. Yeah, because uh, the thing is that if you are with somebody for a lo longer period of time, it leads to bandham, like a husband or a spouse. Actually, it is not there. The whole Bhagavad Gita says it is not there. Even if you are with the husband and together, maybe I have my most closest relative with me until yesterday with whom I had breakfast together. After three days of death, fourth day, when I have some sabji which doesn't have salt, I will not eat without tasting it. I will say salt is less. I am conscious about my day-to-day -day affair. Our attachment and detachment is very, very fast. It just moves out. The water as part of the ocean has got an attachment, boundedness with the ocean. But if I connect it, take it into a pot and then take it away, the water doesn't think that I am, I am connected to the that ocean. No. Every one of us are connected to each other. But every one of us are not connected to each other. All these are only a thought process. That thought process is what is called a attachment, that is called a detachment. But once it becomes a boundedness, we become a servant of our own consciousness. Otherwise, we become a servant of the universal consciousness. That is where the spirituality comes into picture. I, I like tea, I like coffee. But if Aparna asks me, will you have tea? I will say, okay. Do you require tea? I will say, I don't require tea. Because without tea also I can survive. Why should I require that you have to take the trouble of making me a tea? Assume that you told, already made coffee thinking that you love coffee. Okay, you give me coffee, I will have it. So I am not attached to coffee. I am not attached to tea. But I don't mind having it. That is called a detached attachment, attached detachment. Which probably the Westerners when they read, you must listen to at least a few of my Bhagavad Gita sessions and then comment there, know that oh, Aparna uh, have seen that and then did a comment there. Go to my YouTube, look at the way in which I explain Bhagavad Gita so logically. Got it? So don't listen to, the problem is we are, we are Eastern philosophical people. We have taken birth, our belief systems are here. But most popular blah 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 swamis who have learned a little bit of here and there from reading English books, not the basic book of any of these literature can be referred. Once you do that, what happens is you will have a lot of problems. You will have contradictions and confusions. American people will not have because British people will not have because they have not learned anything, anything similar. But in our stories, we have learned a lot of attachment. We have to be together. We have to love our people. But then after some time, you listen to some Westerner who have learned A, B, C, D from here. You listen to them and then say, why he is telling like this? Why you should worry about such people? You can, you can have your own basic concept and then start learning from this. Whatever I am telling you is this knowledge. You decide from your knowledge. That's what it says. Understood? Right, but uh, uh, Dr. TPS, I want to say that attachment leads to pain and suffering and there's karma also attached to everything, all that we do. Karma and pain and suffering and all this stuff. See, I... Intermixed in there. No, what, what I will tell you is most of the people keep talking about karma doing nothing. What they have done, uh, what is the karma which I am supposed to do? When Aparna wanted a meeting with me, did I say no? I said yes, we are meeting. That is my karma, which without that also I can survive, with my salary I can survive. Karma is not my day-to-day -day affair. Karma is what do you do extra, what do you do extra, which is actually a super knowledge, super discussion, super activity, which others may not do normally. Now between me and Aparna, what is happening is a real karma. What happens in my mathematics classroom as a professor is not my karma. 
that i am doing it for my salary so what do i do for my salary is not karma oh understood i am making chawal i am making my sabji i am making my uh, uh, dal tadka oh that is not my karma that is my survival activity what is that you have done extra other than your routine which probably go to my account don't think that every day activity reading book doing prayer all the prayer which you do in the puja room is not a karma because that you are doing it for your selfishness nobody is going to get benefit out of it this is called ishta karma karma is two types Kar- you you have to google whenever i am telling this you can go to the youtube get more explanations on this two types of karma which is called ishta karma and purta karma so ishta purtam dr tps if you type aparna you have to send me a whatsapp so that i can send you all the links for this youtube small small links ishta karma is what i do for my selfishness is never credited in my account for giving me a salvation which is a blissfulness a permanent happiness which creates me as a spiritual person what i do for others and what are the other job which i am supposed to do vaapi kubatada akani devatane na nicha anna pradana mudhyannam purtam ityabhidi yade my action which gives you now i am teaching aparna or i am giving some message some knowledge some vision some discussions we are thinking together i am not teaching you we are thinking together assume that knowledge which aparna is going to practically use which you are going to spread to multiple number of people or this connectivity will make aparna to take me to more number of people to explain similar style then this learning becomes a purposeful learning if aparna is going to be just happy by herself being selfish yourself what karma i have done now is a wasteful karma collaborating that is what i am saying so how many replications it can make how many number of people we can serve based on that number my karma is weighed okay and that is what is called the purta karma so one is ishta karma selfish karma the second one is called the purta karma which is useful for somebody else ishta de labade sorgam purte moksham avapniyat ishta karma you do you can get temporary happiness purta karma you do you get moksha you get permanent happiness you will become a blissful person tomorrow also you will feel happy that means a selfish person will feel happy temporarily a blissful person will feel happy more number of times the rest of your life aparna thank you so much you are you are making me to think in different style different ways rarely we get people who ask such questions and listen to such discussions right <laughs> thank you so much i also appreciate that you agree to like agree to speak to me i wanted to speak to you from a long time i know why because you had connections like because you said you were a space scientist and i was quite intrigued by that no all these discussions i am able to explain in a different style because i've got great gurus brahmasri kpc anijan patadri pad and mahamandaleshwar swami vedabharati they're all highly enlightened souls on such divine people got connected to me they have given lot of knowledge free of cost i have not paid for a single program of mine so if i don't share it and part with somebody else in my life i am doing a great crime to my gurus right understood so my job is whatever they have given me is not my property i am supposed to hand it over to somebody else in my life yeah, because when you share knowledge it grows further in multiply that's that's it that's it, that's it. i think we should meet we should meet sometime probably 2024 january onwards i will have again satsang starts opening up in my native 200 year old house nanam the link is already there with you you can google and then see it nanam on google map dr tps if you type you will see three houses one in hyderabad two in kerala one in center of kerala one in north of kerala 
all these places will be open for people to come and have satsang with me. I want to ask doctor, I want to get training in mathematics from you. How do I do it? Yeah, we can. We can plan whatever you want. You take some examples and then start. We will start solving it together. So that is the best method. But examples, we, mathematics have to be solved with examples, practical problems. I had some questions on that. Like, how would I like one? Like, uh, like, are you like? Uh, I'm just. I mean, your. Which of the karma you plan to do, like the ish or the other one, like because I have to pay you for that. No, you cannot pay me because I am not. Uh, I am not a poor man, and I don't think you are that rich to pay me. I am not. I am not a cheap, cheap tutorial person. I am a very rich, costly man. I know because you chanted some mantras in Sanskrit, and I was like, how do you know all those Sanskrit mantras? This is like a dance. Is it? Is it a? Is it a? It's a dead language, right? No, it's. It's quite alive and it has got multiple meaning. You you have to listen to my Bhagavad Gita. There is something called the uh, Subhashitam. No, but it's no people don't communicate in Sanskrit like anymore. No, They're using see, English all uh, the time. See, it doesn't doesn't matter whether I am using it for talking to my daily routine activity or not. The spiritual knowledge which it has, you look at what is Subhashitam. You will see a lot of great lectures. The Subhashitam is what makes a um, lot of explanations on small slokas. You can listen to them very carefully. Subhashitam, Dr. TPS. Yeah, but how would I understand that nowadays what is happening is that Hebrew is not being used, right? Hebrew is not used for communication. No, I am saying, so, how does it, see, whether, what I am supposed to do is, there is a language, Sanskrit, in which so many scriptures are written, so many knowledge is there, so many Subhashitam is there, Bhagavad Gita is there, so many are there. Am I able to get some knowledge from that is what me and the Aparna is supposed to think. Whether it is going to be communicated with 100 people, that's not my agenda at all. I am not a political person to change India's official language into Sanskrit, which is not my commitment, which is not my portfolio. So I always look at, there is something which is not explored. But there are a lot of people who are blah 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 famous Swamiji's in India who don't even quote a single sloka because they learned from the Westerners translated versions. I am telling Aparna, let us use this to that extent where I and you can share and learn. Why should we worry about why people are not using, why is it dead and all that. It is alive between me and you is good enough, right? So many such small small people together will make it live, right? That's good enough. I can't believe it that the Britishers forced us to speak English. No, that I'm doesn't. Why? I am, I am saying, Aparna, between me and you, I am not a politic. I, I have a lot of politics, politics interest. I do strategic politics. But connection between me and Aparna, I don't want politics in between. When I some politicians speak to I me, some politician speaks to me, I will talk about these British problem politics. Shashi Tarur speaks about it. I know Shashi Tarur. We have been on small stages together. Maybe to him I will talk like that. But between, let us not worry about the global problems. <laughs> Understood? <laughs> but see, the dominant language has become English, right? And we are forced to speak in English. That is really true because I don't understand Punjabi. My Hindi is not so good. My Malayalam is not so good. No, that's not the... The, uh, the these Western people want... No, why do... We, see, why, 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 why again I am saying between Aparna and me, we could have connected through Hindi and speak, but we are not doing it. Right, yeah. That is because uh, we are more comfortable with English. We have been educated. Right. That's a language. So it's a language for communication is wonderful. Sanskrit is not a language for communication. It's a literature Pandora box which is not explored by many of us. So let us only focus on that. No, because the Westerners feel no, that. No, worry. Uh, Why do we quote about somebody else? Let me and Aparna talk about me and Aparna. Let somebody else who looks at me, whether they look at me or don't look at me. Let us not look at them. Let us enjoy our time with, between us. 
let us enjoy learning our sanskrit shlokas and scriptures i am very specifically telling there are beautiful shlokas which communicates beautiful messages through small sanskrit shlokas which is called subhashitam in my youtube itself there are hundreds of them aparna listen to that enjoy it let britishers some politician some blah 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 some bjp fellows who wanted to make it language of communication i am not for that my focus is it's a great knowledge which has got lot of things in it let me explore little bit and then have one aparna who is also enjoying it i am happy that is good enough for me samajh mein aaya main kya bol raha hu aapko ha samajh mein aa gaya hum bahut bahut sare time waste karega humse kuch ne bhi hoga we cannot do anything any contribution i cannot change the whole world why should i change the whole world let me change my garden by planting one flower which gives me some flower of fragrance why should i worry neighbor is not planting other fellow is not planting uh, no gujarat is full of uh, barren land why they are not planting rajasthan is desert why they are not planting let me not worry about all that no let my garden be beautiful which i can only do that much in my life i am a small person <laughs> i always i always believe in my karma what i can do then what others are supposed to do that's only what i'm saying i got your point let us learn let us learn and i enjoy when we start thinking about all the problems around the world i don't enjoy i waste my time right I don't. I don't waste. I am a small child who is playing around a little bit of things around what is available with me. I am not worried about the great building which is kept in a, uh, uh, no, for a for a, in a palace. There is a beautiful museum in which some kings are wearing lot of ornaments, and I when I see them, I don't see why I don't have it, and waste my uh, peace of mind. No. I will wear my cloth and enjoy what I have. Let us enjoy. That's what we want, Dapper. So uh, next time, then uh, I mean, can we? I mean, like uh, how do do we continue our conversation? Whenever you have time, whenever you want me, but do little bit of things. What I suggested you do. Like what? Like you said to watch some videos, right? No, no. Look at what I am seeing. What? What? What I have? I have referred you one seedling blog. I have referred you to uh, Subhashitam. I have referred you to my mathematics, logical reasoning, analytical skill classes. L K L H, K L H, K L University, Hyderabad campus, K L H, Dr. T P S. I will send you those links. Once you go to that link, definitely you will learn all that mathematics. What you wanted to ask me will already is there. And assume you want something beyond that, something further to that, something referred to that. again i will be open to you so that we come in same frequency who oh, i understand this is what dr tps is telling aparna will understand yes this is what dr tps wanted to convey to me let us catch on that and then get more 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 and more frequency will become good and similarly if aparna has got something you refer to me i will look at it and then do some my homework also no problem yeah i got it can you share the link all that is there my basic uh, signature which i have sent you again i will send it whatever yeah, subhashitam uh, dr tps if you type you will get my subhashitam dr tps i just had uh, you showed one book book do we need to buy that no you can just take the pdf download it and then read it it's all free anything from dr tps is free no but the book you showed earlier the first time everything everything before. everything is there on my website so the one that the book that uh, can you show that book again the thick book not this, the seedling one the previous the previous one the grandma child care shiksha gurugula yeah this one yeah, yeah. actually one, actually these are four volumes which i am not posted tet because the pdf is too large second one this is for a training program which is under plan where probably i will have a training program in kerala where these books can be learned and then use it otherwise when you read nothing will understand because it's too big nobody is going to read it and understand we will have a 
assume that you are connected to some of the pre-primary early child care center we can have a workshop in delhi i will come you can collect few people we will have a training program in which all four books can be learned and then you during that learning this pdf can be used it's like a workshop it's not something to be read it's something to be done in the classroom it's a handbook for a workshop but can you mail me the i'll pay, pay you for it can you mail me the handbook that is what i'm saying it's available i'll i'll also share you the pdf but it is not going to help you i can do that no issue what is the handbook about like can you show the first page it's it's for a grandma child care shiksha gurukulam grandma child care shiksha gurukulam gccsg right. handbook for the educators for age 3 to grade 3 how education has to happen in the classroom so this is like a early childhood education okay dreams to reality you can read this Right. dreams yeah, to right. reality grandma child care shiksha gurukulam nurturing brilliance navigating the path of excellence this is up to a to g now h i j k similarly four volumes are there all those volumes are released in delhi uh, october there was a early child care education program they wanted to publish it they wanted to distribute it so that's why i have not posted the pdf The second program is going to be in Kot, uh, Calcutta in January. Maybe subsequently we will have many programs in different parts of India, Pan India, in which these workshop will tell how this book can be used by the teachers in the classrooms. That's what I want. If I want training, I will have to become a teacher. I want training from you. That is what I am saying. If you have a play school where you are connected. If you have few teachers where they are ready to learn this, create a program. I'll be there to serve you all for few days, where in which we will teach you the philosophy. Reading will not make any sense. We will, and there are a lot of videos in the same connection. Read all that. I am sending you the link straight away on your WhatsApp now. Grandma Child Care Shiksha Gurukulam is a set of videos available which the philosophy is explained very clearly. Okay, lot of question answer. How it can be implemented in classrooms? All that I am explaining in different videos. All that I am posting, you know. Yeah, because I am uh, uh, facing a challenge teaching young students. Yeah. Uh, so I am facing a challenge teaching young students. You have? Are you working in a school? What sir? Are you working in a school? I am not working in a school, but I am facing challenge teaching math to young. No, I am asking, where are you getting these children? Um, uh, one kid is from the US. Okay. And then. Um, so you are doing uh, online other, programs. Yeah, online, and the other kid is like he comes home to learn, and he is not wanting to learn any. He just wants to play games. These kids want to play games. Games. what i am saying is you should have a good group of people go to some nearby or maybe you can start your own school grandma child care shiksha gurukulam center wherein we will start implementing such center and start getting this new idea of how it can be implemented or when we conduct a program either in hyderabad or in kerala or different part of the country like last time when we had in delhi we had people from argentina we have people from georgia from america from nepal from sri lanka so many people attended such programs since uh, you have not come to washi since uh, like 10 years right i was there in bombay for a different purpose last year that was for training insurance company for doing their business better i am also part of what is called mdrt million dollar round table whoever in insurance company does million dollar business they have got an association which i am a normal common speaker so they call me so last visit in bombay was for a conference in marriott hotel half day i was there for a lecture for the whole india half day for only from kerala in malayalam so if you look at mdrt dr tps bombay dr tps you will see my last lecture Bombay, Doctor TPS, Mumbai, Doctor TPS. You will see all my sessions which happened in Mumbai. 
most of them I record myself, edit myself and post it onto YouTube. So that also give a record of where I have gone, what I have done, which are all the places I visited. You go to playlist and look at, you will see all of them. I am sending you the link for playlist and then look at it. Then you will see Subhashitam. When you land on any YouTube, you send a comment also on the YouTube so that I will know. I will see every comment so that I know, oh, Aparna has seen. Aparna is very serious about it. Very serious, but I like one-to-one uh, -one, uh, in-person learning. Definitely, data, but definitely. Right but what happens is what I can do, what we have done, what is that you can ask me will be clear when you look at my videos. So one look at it is good enough. And most of them are discussion like this. See, for example, Devi Sangalpa, the God concept of discussions. What I have done in uh, USA during the drive, dialogue on drive. I am just looking at it and Ramayana which I taught in Fiji uh, so many different uh, yoga and meditation what is my concept so that this frequency becomes easier for you to connect me much faster and better this is our first okay, dialogue right? yeah I know but uh, what I wanted to say that how, how did you end up going to those countries they are all sponsored programs somebody calls me I go there teach them the Fiji was for Ramayana program, which was a government of India program. Okay, so uh, I have to try to collect some teachers. Yeah, I have. Oh. Yeah, you have no, to. No, not necessarily. You can also come wherever it is happening. So probably in January, I have a satsang in Kerala in my Nanam program, where you could uh, connect, connect and come and stay there for few days. We will have people from America. We will have people from different parts of India. Are you coming to Mumbai? Because I don't know if I can come to Kerala. It all depends. If Mumbai, if somebody calls me for a program, I'll be there. If somebody hosts me there, I'll be there. That's what I do generally. Because if I have to come to Kerala, then um, I'll have to like, uh, it will be expensive for me, right? Yeah, for everyone, travel is expensive, right? Understood. I travel almost 360 days, only very few days at home. So how expensive is that for me, you tell me. <laughs> you're traveling, or you're traveling 360 days? I, I, I was traveling 360 days before 2018. Now I reduced. Be after COVID, I stopped my travel, but this time, this 2023, I have traveled to Punjab, Kathmandu, Everest Base Camp, uh, Gujarat, uh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, um, UP. Last week, I was there in um, uh, Rajasthan. I was there in Jharkhand, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala. Every place, no? every nook and corner of India. It's an everyday activity. This weekend I will be in Kerala for a week, come back to Hyderabad, again January I will be in um, West Bengal, I was there in West Bengal in last October for, uh, yeah March I was there in, uh, up to uh, border because I had some lectures on philosophy, Punjab University I went, Chandigarh, I went to philosophy department of West Bengal University. So every 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 program you can look at my schedule. I I I also posted to you my schedule. You go to any of my YouTube or look at Dr. TPS schedule, you will see where I am traveling, which day I am where I am. I was also wondering, I was thinking that you are from Hyderabad, somebody referred you to me. That's why I asked you, where are you from? And I was expecting that I am in Hyderabad like that. <laughs> I was meant to bump into you, by the way. No, you have sent me the first message ask, saying that, no, are you planning to have any more uh, satsang programs because you missed in uh, August, you want to join in September. Yeah, something like that, you came in. So, somebody, somebody would have 
send my satsang program because I used to conduct a lot of satsang programs. So somebody would have sent you a link or somebody would have connected to the link. Right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. That is what would have happened. But then yeah, once yeah. you contact and connect with me, I remember this is what the first message. Dr. T Hello, yeah, Dr. TPS. Yeah, I know. You are planning to have any meeting in the month of September because I couldn't attend your meeting in August. That was your message. Right, right, right. Yeah, I do remember that and I, yeah, some, your link came through in my WhatsApp and I suddenly want, I don't know why I wanted to connect to you. Good. And because you're an educator or something, I, I, I because you're an educator, that's why. Yeah. I think it came from uh, somebody which, some satsang happening or something happening in Bangalore, something in online, something would have come to you from somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, it's yeah, nice. Because I, I, I wanted to connect because you're an educator, but I was quite surprised when you told me that you're a space scientist. Yeah. And when I cook, I doesn't become a cook, right? <laughs> Just because I do cycling or maybe drive my car, I don't become a driver, right? So, I mean, you can take on different roles at different points. That's what time. I'm saying. I mean, so, so, what do I, if somebody asks me, what, what is your specialization, I will only keep saying, my specialization is L-I-F-E, life. That is why all my books are on life. This is my book on life. Life of love. Okay. This is my book on life. Life made simple. And this is my book on life. Rhythm of life. It's another book called Rhythm of life. Yeah. All my books are on Rhythm of life. Everything is on life. No, that's a, a, that's a, a kind of really good. I read, the thing that I read is the book on, by Sadhguru on death, okay? I said that is the first book I need to really read because that's what is... Uh, this is Rhythm of life. Okay. So Have you read Sadhguru's book on death? I don't read any fellow who speaks in English without referring to the basic Sanskrit slokas. I am from a traditional Guru's disciple. I am Swami Veda Bharati. I am Swami Veda Bharati is a Himalayan tradition meditation master. I am from a Vedic Guru who is Brahma Sri KPC Anijan Bhattadripad. I follow Swami Vivekananda. I follow Ramana Maharshi. I follow Chinmaya. I don't follow the modern blah 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 English people who are all SAD gurus, sad gurus. I am very 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 specific. I told you don't don't refer to any of the English blah 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 writers to me who have not touched the root knowledge in Bharatiya Shastra. I know because yeah. when I read Sadhguru's book, right? I, I, I told you I don't. I don't read such fellow. So don't ask me, did you read it? I meet Actually, him. Uh, yeah. I know, but I thought it was all BS. That's what I'm saying. That is why I'm saying you the same thing. I'm only reflecting what you are going to say because I know. Do you think otherwise to somebody who is following Sadhguru, I will tell like this. <laughs> but the thing is that when he talks, certain things are BS, right? Because sometimes he talks, he has been invited by... So many reputed universities and, that all, is, and he talks sometimes BS. That is very, very easy because when he met me last time, he asked, why are you not uh, joining my director's board? Why can't you join me? So many of your uh, ISRO chairman is there, though and so and so person is there. I know him since uh, almost 40 years back, 30 years back. Can I just ask you quickly something? Every time you can ask me. You know, I just want to know, is he, uh, is, uh, his wife, uh, his, he has written about his wife in the book and people say that he is responsible for his wife's death. I am telling or, again, Aparna, how does it matter from XYZ is killed his wife or died his wife, uh, whether they are with his wife, whether they have uh, every day uh, sleeping together or not. Why are we worried about there are so many people? How does it make a difference in me and you? Let us don't bother about what is that insignificant uh, things in around what is happening around us. 
let us not give importance to somebody who is totally ignorant who doesn't make any sense to each me on you just ignore na i can tell lot of stories about different people who come and meet me who are connected with him who had trouble who had no trouble all that you think that dr tps with all these social contacts will not have anybody who is coming to me who are connected to him or not how does it matter whether what is maha samadhi whether how does it matter some x y z uh, maha samadhi or doesn't some insignificant just ignore let us not discuss let us not worry about such things this is what happens to lot of people when they join they discuss about such things which doesn't get any concern see i'll tell you i am not a person just because the teachers day uh, earlier vice president of india declared his birthday as teachers day and everybody sends happy teachers day on that day i don't even respond to such things how does it matter whether his birthday is as teachers day or not for me let us do something use our time which makes some sense to me some sense to you we have to have general knowledge which are connected these sort of great people you think is great with whom you wanted to know about their life their wife's life their personal life and all that they just don't live more than next few years everybody will ignore them and die they have some I people have that how does I it matter understand. how does it matter to me and you so let us not i am saying like the great politics of britishers you wanted to discuss i said let us not the small things which are insignificant also let us not let me have some knowledge which are from the root which makes some knowledge to me where i can connect and share to somebody else which makes some difference in their life let us share it you know what i think like i think that humans are going to become extinct like dinosaurs in due course of time possible me and you will not be there to see that but so it doesn't matter <laughs> understood yeah, but that that could i think because that could happen to the if it could happen to the dinosaur yeah it could happen to us also right yeah, every every pl- every see there are 126 types of plants 126 types crows and type 126 crows of types of microbes flying animals non flying everything put together the whole universe is created by god and then they created one animal who is a human being who will think about what others are going to do in this world i have another meeting at 4 o'clock avarna okay i i i okay yeah go ahead i have some uh, engineering college student who wanted to learn some programming tricks for doing the engineering class i do so many such programs parallelly i will have many students who will come and learn their all subjects for preparing for their board exams during some camps so that time you will see how i am teaching different subjects practically in the for the students who wanted to learn maths physics chemistry biology english hindi all subjects i will teach when is that can you invite me for that camp that is what i am saying january it is going to be january 13 to 16 is what i am planning awake awake can i stay see and we have to pay right for that don't worry amma if you are too poor i will pay or i will beg somewhere and i'll get you i'll send you for begging I have to beg for one. What? Everybody begs. Everybody is a beggar in the world. All Swamiji's are beggars, right? I know. Beg, borrow, and steal. Yeah. So, so if you want to become a real Swamiji, you will have to beg. Start <laughs> learning begging first. So I'll teach you how to beg. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you. So I will post without these personal <laughs> remarks my lecture, my portion because your face is not there. Without you. I will post this on YouTube. Doctor TPS, I'm faceless. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye.